thank you for those joining me today in my channel what I'll be sharing with you now is about coffee so those of you who are uh, coffee drinkers you may be interested to listen to this my research have led me to uncovering a certain thing that coffee does we know that coffee is containing vitamins also and antioxidants in other words they are beneficial to health but coffee has certain enzyme which is called thiaminases which is responsible for deficiency of vitamin b1 or thiamine now this vitamin b1 deficiency can lead to beriberi which is responsible or causes heart disease nerve disorders and immune problems so when we lack vitamin b1 it is problematic aside from that thiamine deficiency also causes hand tremors now when beriberi progresses it can even cause destruction of the eyes and muscle loss as well as other problems so those people drinking three cups or more of coffee has to watch out now it's not just coffee that has thiaminases tea is also said to have thiaminases which is responsible for vitamin b1 deficiency also raw fish so if you are fond of eating sushi beware also shellfish and alcohol so these foods just like coffee can also cause b1 deficiency and they are responsible for causing diabetes and also for causing hand tremors neurological disease brain problems and immune problems so because of that may i say that you have to lessen your intake of coffee maybe you limit your coffee to one to two cups a day and um, maybe it would be better if you take the organic coffee or the barajo which are loaded with antioxidants another way to limit this advantage of coffee and other drinks like tea or alcohol you can take your coffee or tea an hour before meal having a nutritious meal and having coffee an hour before taking your nutritious meal or your supplements was found by research that it does not cause deficiency of the vitamin b1 or thiamine also if you take coffee or tea one hour after a meal there is the same result no no reduction of the vitamin b1 so you don't even have to stop taking coffee but limit it and also observe the one hour before meal or the one hour after meal thank you so much and may god bless you all